So, I decided to do this video because this is an interesting question I want to pose to all of you. Um, yeah, this is a video that's going to gonna get. I'm I'm curious because I don't know what to think. Honest, there is a part of me that's like, um, yeah, this is probably um, not like. This is probably, like, this is probably just my thoughts, gonna be my thoughts on it, and I'm just gonna throw this question out here. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Um, do you guys think we need Joker, a second Joker movie? I mean, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the first movie. I think it was probably one of the best movies of, of the year. Um, I think it is a masterpiece. It is right up there with comic, with the comic book echelon of movies like The Dark Knight and Logan. It's one of those movies that's definitely like, it was more than a comic book movie, you know? It was more, it was one of those, it's gonna be like one of those, Joker is gonna be one of those movies that you're gonna talk about, everyone talks about with respect. Um, and everyone talks about in, in like just a higher form, you know? And I kind of think to myself, the movie, I don't think it needs a sequel. I don't think it needs a sequel. Now, am I curious as to see how a sequel will go? Yeah. The The thing is, is that if it wasn't... It, I have a lot more faith in it that Todd Phillips is coming back to write and direct, you know, from the first film. But, like, it felt like such an open-shut movie that I was like, I don't think I need a sequel. I think I'm just good with this. And I don't think that it's kind of necessary. I don't, like, you've, you've, you told your story. You told, um, you told what you were going to say, and I don't th know if you can capture lightning in a bottle twice. I, I don't know if you can capture that kind of, that, uh, it, Devil's Advocate, we haven't seen the fucking movie yet. The movie, it, it just got its script done, and that script will probably be rewritten and redone, reshoots, stuff like that. There will probably be tons of others but, like, at the same time, I'm like, do we need to do this again? Does, does can, <laughs> can Joaquin Phoenix literally put himself through the punishment he did for the first movie to, uh, can he do that again? Like, can he do that a second time? And it will probably call for more, like, just mental and physical punishment. I don't know if he'll be able to take that a second time. I don't know if he can do it. That nearly, by all accounts, it sounded like it nearly killed him the first time. So, could you imagine, like, if this movie breaks him? I, that scares the, that's a thought that disturbs me. Um, and again, like, I don't think this needs, it. like, it's such a story that is so compact, and it really does make you think at the end of, like, it was Arthur really the, like, you can always interpret that, is, was it all in it, like, like, not so much in his head, because we all saw and every, how everything played out, but more like, was Arthur Fleck, like, you could make the the argument that was Arthur Fleck really even the Joker? Was he even, like, the joke? was he just inspired by that story? I don't know. It is also interesting to note that, um, uh, Willem Dafoe talked about wanting to be part of the Joker sequel as, like, playing a different Joker, so I was like, are they gonna do three Joker? Would they do three Jokers if they did that? Like, would they honestly do, like, three Jokers? I don't know. But the thing of it is, is that this does like, I think we, it, like, you don't need to do more. Like, yeah, this movie is, is gonna, I can't, I, in respect for all ten uh, French subscribers. Uh, I am not going to try to b even butcher the, the title's name, which is in English called Shared Madness. Now, it is suspected that this is going to focus more on the Joker's effect on Gotham, like it, the mentality, like is it like it's going to focus more on Joker's like that kind of that kind of uh, po that kind of poison and mob mentality that um, was kind of touched on in the first movie, but it was more like Arthur Flex movie. But really, it's like, oh, so no one's going to be running around Evil Dies Tonight. So, okay. <laughs> uh, that was the first movie that made me go, oh, mob mentality. And this is coming from a guy who likes Halloween Kills. But, I don't know, like, that's the thing, is that 
like they've said that Harley Quinn won't be in the movie, but there's also a part of me that goes, yeah, but what if the studio says put Harley Quinn in the movie? Because here's the thing. The movie, the Joker movie was really like no, like no one at Warner Brothers didn't, they didn't care. Like they were just like, ah, shit, just throw whatever at the wall sticks. Joker isn't probably going to do well. It, like that was kind of, apparently the word on the street is that was the mentality of the Warner Brothers executives at the time that they just thought, oh, Joker, fuck it, just throw it out there, man. And then it got big, so now that means that more that studios are going to get involved more. Like, there's going to be more studio, like more fingers in the pudding. So there's that problem. That's the other thing I, I wanted to bring up is that you have now studio executives who are going to want to stick their dick in it repeatedly, and that's going to cause some problems. I mean, look at fucking you know. I could point at 10, at 30, 30 movies, not just superhero movies, like 30 movies alone. And that's just a tip of the iceberg for how many times studio executives took a project that they didn't have a lot of faith in, it made a lot of money, and then they immediately went for the sequel and started going nuts on it. So, and that's been going on since the fucking 40s, even longer than that. So that's my, that was my other concern for this film, was now I'm worried about the studio executives fucking with it. There's that thought, too. Again, it is cool that Todd Phillips is coming back, Joaquin Phoenix is coming back, we've got the, uh, I believe, oh, I forget the person's name, do, uh, coming back for composing music. That's all great, we have the team back, but now they have the noose that is the Hollywood executives now swinging over them, and that's a... That's always... That never ends well. Now, the only thing I could see is that maybe it'll be like a... Maybe James Whale, who's the director of Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein, is that Todd Phillips maybe goes, either I do this or I leave... The moment if they announce Todd Phillips leaves over creative differences, that's when you hit the panic button. And you would need to get, like, I don't know, fucking Scorsese or something to salvage this movie. Um, but as it stands, we're all good. I just dread that I'm going to be online one day, scrolling through social media, and then I see the words, Todd Phillips leaves Joker 2. And I'm like, oh, we need to hit the panic button. Anyway. So, but yeah, it's just like, you, you told your story. You told a story that no one had any faith in to begin with, and now, it almost now feels like you're trying to capture lightning in a bottle twice. And I don't know if you could do that. I don't know if, I don't know if you can do that, and now you have studio... I'm not... Look, I'm not saying that this movie's gonna suck. I am in no way... I want it to be good. I, I really love Joker, and the thought of a sequel is kind of enticing now that you have the original gang back together. But you have all these little, like, gathering storms of, like, shit that could go completely wrong, and it may not go right the second time. But hey, you know, sometimes you have a sequel to a really good movie and it outclasses the other. Look at Godfather, look at, you know, Frankenstein, look at Star Wars. It's Maybe it'll be like Godfather 2, or Empire Strikes Back, or Bride of Frankenstein. Maybe it'll be up there with sequel, or, if you want to go Batman, Dark Knight. <laughs> maybe it'll be up there with Batman. It, it, not just comic book movies, it'll be up there with f sequel films that did great. So... There you go. That's just my two cents. But you let me know. Let me. You guys let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think? What do you guys think of the idea of a second Joker movie? Do you think we need it? Do you think we do need it? Um, just comment below. Let me know. I'm. I'm not saying like I don't want it. I'm not saying, I it, like. I'm not saying I'm shitting on it. I'm not. I want this to be good. I'm just now. I'm just voicing concerns. That's all I'm doing. So I'm wondering if I'm the only one thinking that, or am I just on the odd man out? I don't know. So this will be an interesting video to see how this plays out. But anyway, hope just comment below, let me know. As always, um, if you haven't already, hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon for exclusive videos. Other than that, I am Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.